Hey, uh, Marcel Hearn, I can promise you, you're the one that has not, knows nothing about it. I have a BS in biochemistry and a BA in uh, analytic philosophy. Believe me. Yeah, Marcel, why don't you bring why? your okay, fucking candy ass in here, Marcel, and debate. Come on, Marcel. Why do you, where mean, you, at? Why do you say Stop. BA in uh, analytic philosophy? Train? Bring your ass in here, Marcel. Because it's a Bachelor of Art. Yeah, but why do you say analytic philosophy and not just philosophy? Because that's what it is. Because there's two philosophies in uh, in Arizona. There's two schools. One is NAU. NAU teaches. Uh... I just did my philosopher tier list, by the way. What's it called? Fuck. What's the word I'm looking for? Continental. It's continental philosophy is that where you like pretty much look at the stars and say oh i believe <laughs> i feel this what? thing these stars are aligned in a way where no that's that's lsd <laughs> no no no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't know what you're talking about what what Every, everyone thinks so here here's the thing okay philosophy majors are actually one of the hardest majors in uh in university but it's but, but there's a stigma behind them. Everyone thinks to this easy bullshit degree where you just go and get high as fucking talk about nothing i guess it depends on the school though it depends on the school um and the and the professor some some philosophy professors won't do shit so they split it into two different sections there's analytic analytic three. is all like proofs all of it is proofs earlier you're talking about premise oh like my that. god train i just this is making me angry because this is probably one of the worst takes i've ever heard what how's that a take it's not even a take it there's not even no take it he's just describing like what the the field that he knows about he's, he's saying this is this is what we studied in college and they happen to call it analytic philosophy. Here's the name for it. And it really hurts me as someone who's in the field oh. that this characterization that you're painting of philosophy is probably you're actually. He's not painting a characterization of philosophy. This guy's clearly not in the field. He's just describing what his class was. The adding you're you're adding harm uh, to the field because there is oh. no division between analytic and continental philosophy. They're doing the exact same thing. I talk about this in my philosophers tier list. Yeah. Trying to define philosophy is an impossible task. To say that you're doing harm to the field by by compartmentalizing things that you can intuitively compartmentalize. Philosophy can be anything. If it's just finding the nature of reality, then it can be science. Science can be philosophy. In fact, almost all the like the the really high end like major philosophers were also scientists. So. And I can compartmentalize different kinds of philosophies. If you want to talk about like, if, if someone were to tell me, okay, take a, take a guess on diff the difference between standard philosophy versus analytical philosophy, I would be like, okay, analytic philosophy bans any kind of speculation. It's all about doubting. And normal philosophy, anything goes. I would have an intuition for that kind of thing. I'm sure a bunch of people would have a bunch of different answers. And I'm sure we could talk about that. How is that harmful? But hold up, I'm going to get some water first. Be right back. No, they're not. Yeah, do you, we can have a full on. Let's fucking do it, train. Let's one v one this. Cause... Train, don't do it. I'm not. I'm, of course, I'm not going to do it, dude. Why would I fucking do it? Smart. You're but this is just such man. an awful so take. Smart. It's wait, wait, you're misrepresenting the, the field. One is required for. This guy wants clout so bad. He's like, let's do it. It's an awful take. He's just trying to get him, get him riled up so we can end up on his stream. The other one so is it, it traditionally. In, no, no. In, in traditionally in philosophy, people have this perception that there is analytic philosophy on the one hand and continental philosophy on the other hand. So in analytic philosophy, what gets grouped into it is, you know, it's it's really a heavy emphasis on like logic and it's sort of like a mathematical approach where everything is very clearly. Wait, Rem, I'm sorry to interrupt Just you. Wait, hold point. on, hold on. Rem, did you graduate already? No, but I'm about uh, to. So I think maybe you should shut the fuck up because Train <laughs> is a graduate, all right? True. Sit the yeah, fuck I, down. Uh, oh, even though shit. he's a graduate, I guarantee I know more about the field than he Wait, does. Okay, so oh. That's the stupidest. How? What? That's actually stupid. That's a stupid take. This is like rule one of conversation. Always assume the person you're talking to knows something you don't. And you know what? If, if you're really, if you're going to, you know go in depth and, and not just like have like a simple little conversation, you should assume they know a lot of things you don't know. In fact, you should never assume that you know more than them. Like in the grand scheme of things, if you're really going to have a 38 minute conversation with them. Yeah, of course, the you're, cur of course things, you you're currently, your you're currently in it. So it's fresh in your mind. Okay. So first of all, based on, based on how, uh, the fact that you aren't fighting for that division, 
tells me that you're probably studying continental philosophy, and I've and I no, just, I'm not actually. I'm studying pure it, analytic philosophy, but that doesn't mean that I completely like disrespect a field that like I don't four, understand. Four years for, and you're pissed that you chose that side because. Wait, what? If he's studying analytic philosophy, why would he be offended when Train is just describing what his class was like in analytic philosophy? No, if you no. Studied, if you actually study these are just awful philosophy, takes. You would Look, want, what is you continental want philosophy? From hey, Train, can you? Maybe I'm missing it? something because he said these are awful takes. So maybe they said a bunch of things before this video. I don't know. I mean, what is continental philosophy? I just have you read any earlier, continental you philosophy? You gave me, you gave me continental. I didn't give it to you. You gave me it. You understand? You said. Then what's, what? the, what's this other side of philosophy that you're talking about? That isn't analytic. Ram, That's stop asking questions and I tell us your fucking it. argument. You, you set the value. You, you told me that what I'm talking about was continental. Now you're trying to use me not knowing what you decided to tell me what it was as me not being credible and saying there's two separate divisions. Well, well. That's true, but Train also did say there was one, like just philosophy, and then one analytic philosophy. But so if if you are if you have a degree in philosophy, you know that analytic philosophy itself refers to a division. Like this is very well known. Yeah, the there analytic is a division. Continental there is a split. division, and anyone that takes analytic would want it be would want it divided, right? The okay, so you do acknowledge that it's the analytic continental the divide. So stop trying to say that I'm mischaracterizing. Of podcast, Dude, they want to be divided from the goddamn fucking brainlets and the fucking smart people. The same way analytic philosophers want to be divided from the goddamn brainlets that are studying how to fucking take LSD and act like an LSD fucking addict. It's the same same fucking thing. Look, if you are in the field of philosophy, you've taken any sort of philosophy, you know the division. Like I don't know why train you're pretending not to know what I'm talking about. You absolutely know what I'm talking about. On the he just said that what. One end, you have these analytic philosophy. You were talking about proofs and all that, right? It comes from Bertrand, Russell, and Frege, right? And then on the other side, right. you have these continental thinkers like Nietzsche and Foucault and the post-structuralists and the no, post-modernists. No, 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 right? no, no, Okay, yeah. What okay. are you talking if, about? If these are the people you're talking about, no, no, no. These people create a bridge between the two that, that is definitely credible. I'm not talking about these kind of philosophers. I actually love Nietzsche. Human, all too human. One of my favorite, Okay. So don't even give me that, dude. That is a that is an extreme example then of who are you complaining greatness. about? That, that, that is an extreme example of greatness, dude. You understand? I'm talking about the philosophy. Now you said continental, okay? I'm not sure. I'm not, I need to go dust up on what it's called. I'm talking the shit where you're talking about nothing. It's all just speculation. You're just sitting there thinking, oh. Right. That's what I thought. There's a there's a <clears throat> a divide between speculation and proofs. That's what he said in the beginning. That's what I thought it was. Space must just be an egg. And we are the chicken in the egg before the egg is born. Like, you're talking about metaphysics? Talking about is pointless. You understand? About, like whether like the, the nature of... Yeah, every philosopher has their metaphysics. That's a part of philosophy. That makes sense. Yeah. The world and like transcendental idealism and stuff. Like whether we're actually interacting with reality or not, or whether it's like... Is that what you're talking about? I mean, that depends on what his metaphysics is and what, what metaphysics he's talking about. Yeah. But... Are you just taking science for granted? Is that what you're doing, Train? Oh my god. What? Rem. <laughs> I understand everything now. I No, listen. I No, I actually understand everything now, dude. Listen. You know I'm a scientific anti-realist, right? No. Yes. I don't even... What the I don't care. Listen, on, Rem. Rem. Listen, ignore, ignore what it means, okay? In philosophy, you're trained to fucking speak like this. That He knows that he knows the simplified way to say it, but he's trained to speak like this because it fucking gives when you he more says, words. So like, real quick, Raj, when he stop, says scientific quick, anti... Listen. What? It gives you more. Listen, it gives you. Okay, so in well, explain what it means, real quick, to him. I guess I'll, I'll explain. Yeah, you're like you're like gonna you. like talk shit about my position without actually. No, I'm not talking about your position. I'm, gonna, means, I'm gonna give him an insight. I'm gonna give him an insight. So usually philosophers, you know, they're pretty pretentious. They're not gonna get. They're, they're not gonna give you the insight of things. So in philosophy, it's there's no test. It's all writing. Everything's just writing. Okay. Now you learn. Uh, they te they they hint on that you know since everything's a sixty page fucking essay. How to fucking extend a simplified fucking uh, sentence to a fucking three paragraph explanation of it in a fucking <laughs> pretentious ass way. So he's going to speak in ways that extend it and make it sound extremely smart when he could say a fucking one word to explain what he means. As someone who's been trained in the field of analytic philosophy, you'll know that in our courses, if you've gone to an actual <sighs> university that cares about standards, that if you actually write a single sentence that could be removed, you'll lose points. So, so when I take a course and I write an essay and I include...
I'm pretty sure like almost all of philosophy could be removed depending on who you're talking to. This is the thing I don't understand. Why does my phone just light up for no reason and there's no notifications? There's notifications, but it's all old. An email? Hold up. Let me, let me open this. Nothing. It said since that isn't relevant to the argument, right. I get docked marks. It Rami, give it like four or five years, dude. Hey. Four or five years to realize you went to Trend, you're being like, like people call me condescending. Like this is the most <laughs> condescending shit I've ever seen in my life. It, it's pathetic. Listen, Cause I also dude, know exactly where I, you are. You're someone who actually didn't understand you know where he is. is. You can't. Vocabulary possesses fucking condescending overtone. Don't be a- I think most degrees are a waste of time. A hypocrite. What do you mean? You're, you're sitting here making vague, oh, you know, you just write a oh, words and, and these words don't really, they don't really you say do. very much. Oh, you thanks, do. Train. There's a whole lot of substance there to your argument. Thank thank yep. you so much. Oh, scientific anti-realism. Oh, really? That Let me tell you what scientific anti-realism is. Oh, it's just, oh, it's just a whole lot of bullshit. Just a whole lot of words. Oh, that's, that's a real great. True. Training. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm done. <clears throat> Good wow, one, Steve. Get... I'm sorry, Ralph. I could... Scientific anti-realism sounds like an oxymoron. I have no idea what the hell that is, but it sounds like an oxymoron. I talked to you about this for, you know, three hours train, and I'm more than willing to because your takes are just so incredibly, like, naive, and it's, oh, God. It, it's really... Train, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> just kidding. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, bring like, him on the royale. You have a degree in philosophy, train, you and you're making just the most ridiculous... Like, Hello? Why do you think that the debate between scientific realism and anti-realism is in a serious debate? Did he go to the bathroom? Do you think all the literature on this subject I think is he just left. total bullshit or something? Ram, I think he left. Who left? Me? Oh, oh no, well. you're still here? You weren't listening. No, I'm here. I'm listening. Okay. Oh, Then okay. can you answer my question? I, I, do you think that all of these areas of philosophy that, uh, are just total bullshit? No, I don't think they're bullshit at all. I think they're- I think then, philosophy then why did is you, the best why... degree. Okay, then why are you saying that me saying that I'm a scientific anti-realist is just a whole lot of bullshit and that you know where I'm at and that in a few years I'll just grow out of it? Why, why do you say you this? You will. You will. <laughs> Can you explain to me why? Can you actually, do you have any substance to the things you're saying other than just attacking I mean, I, my character? Listen, dude. All, I'm not attacking. All I can tell you is without mad you're getting, I think you know it too. You got him. Wow. Oh, another, gr oh. another great argument from Train. Oh, it is a great really argument. great. Listen, yeah, dude. That's fantastic. We're gonna see him three, four years, dude. Right. He's been there. He's done what you've done. Okay. He probably went to a better school than you're going to. Also. Stop. Firstly, firstly, okay. Just set the record straight. I'm pretty sure Train has a two-year associates in analytic philosophy, right? It's not a, not a full no, undergrad. No, I don't. I've showed my degrees. I have a bachelor of arts, four year, and a four year bachelor of science. Why the fuck would I get my associates? Wait, you got a BA and a BS in analytic philosophy? Yeah, I was a double major. Yeah. Yeah, and I so, show the degrees specifically because your Reddit didn't believe me. So I went to my Arizona house and I had it on camera, both degrees. Yes. Are you, you like dismissing the Listen, entire field of philosophy? I'm because... not dismissing. That's just factual, dude. Listen, wait, I'm wait, telling wait, you. Wait, wait, what part of that is factual? <laughs> dude, they're <laughs> skipping hella. The entire awesome. thing. I mean, I guess it's not factual. It's anecdotal. And I'm telling you from every philosopher I knew in my goddamn class. And philosophy is the one of the smallest uh, uh, degrees. It, you literally, it's the one place where you have a personalized experience. Every other class, business, even biochem, classes of 400 fucking people, dude. Philosophy, it's classes of six or seven people, dude. And it's fucking great. What, what university did you go to? My third year classes have like 80 people in them. Damn. That's philosophy? You ain't getting much of a, a valuable education in a class of 80 in philosophy. Philosophy, you want it to be something where it's, where it's like a... Bro, if a thought pops into my head, I, I want to be able to hit my, my professor, forget about office hours type thing, you know? Like, it doesn't make sense to, to a class of, of 60, 80 people, whatever. It makes sense for, for classes where you're being indoctrinated with things or everything is a lecture and you're not actually trying to, to think deeply yourself or add anything to the field yourself. But like, I don't think anyone would get into philosophy unless they're trying to themselves come up with at least some original idea. 
You're saying well, then that's then that's exactly why about? you have this. That's why you have this anti-realist scientific bullshit ideas. <laughs> it's disconnected oh with reality. I mean, that's why. So yeah, there's no intimacy in the classroom. Um, uh, philosophy is the worst class to have hella people in. It makes sense to have a. To, yeah, it does sound like Train went to a better school if there's a smaller, more intimate classroom and it's a more personalized experience. You're going to a class of 400 people. It's not personalized. The teacher's not mentoring. You don't even you. know what my so position is, Train. You're just assuming my position. Like, you told me you're a what scientific. What do you think I mean by scientific anti-realism? Uh, oh, someone's about, calling me. I don't know. Claims about the no, the no What kind of a phone like ringtone is that, bro? On reality of unabsorbed of unobservable entities. I don't know. The typical bullshit. The pretentious bullshit everyone spews in the first year of college. I don't know. Oh. He was shocked that I knew that, so now he said it at me. He's like, fuck, this guy knows his shit, he's dipped. You know what yeah, he's, he's using? He's using one of those <laughs> those apps that gets you out of a bad date, right? So That's he had it true. call himself, oh true. shit, true. I gotta go. True, Listen, true, true, I don't like true, bringing true, this true. side of me out, because I'll be honest. One, yeah, true, true, true. I'm not equipped. Uh, Two, I have, true. I'm just true. fucking true. dumb, dude. Listen, I'm dumb now. Okay? Master, I've let me go out all this once, just oh. one time. No, I've, I've lost. <laughs> listen, dude. Listen, listen, listen. I all knew that to begin with. I really, I really, Rem. Whoa! Listen, I really believe. If you don't good one, good one. Don't use it, you lose it, dude. It's that fucking simple, dude. Okay? I've gone through eight years of pure just fucking dumbing. I'm, I, just listen, dude. I have focused on my in, on my entertainment personality side, okay? So that's the side that grew. And then my my quote unquote intellectual side, Pepe Laugh, that thing. Yo, who is playing Minecraft like this? Who is building like this inefficiently, bro? Died a long time ago, dude, okay? I have a god. Like landscape the area first. Damn BS in biochemistry, I couldn't tell you one goddamn fucking question out of one of my OCHEM tests, okay? Like, it's fucking terrible. All I could tell you is how goddamn trash my teacher was, and that the classes were at 7 a.m., and I fucking hated it every fucking day of my life. But then later on, I fucking missed the goddamn experience of it, but then you think about the actual specifics, and it's, it's trash. So at the end of the day, okay. I don't know shit. I can't tell you shit. I don't know what the fuck's going okay. on. This is not a terribly efficient way of doing it, if you, if, if you don't have any patience, but... So you're being very you 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 clearly table. just came on here. You shit talk an entire field because you think it, you know, it's no, entertaining. No, I, I did not shit talk an entire field. I shit talked a section of the field that I think is complete bullshit, which is the continental side of it. But you, but you including, you not including that up at Nietzsche. All. You can't actually argue. Nietzsche is actually great. Like, great, awesome dude. I recommend. The, I recommend uh, Human All Too Human. Fucking amazing read. Absolutely beautiful. Hey Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> What's up, bro? So in uh, political science, there's this really good area of, of poli sci. It's called um, it's called leftism, and uh, like just from my experience, it's it's really fucking great. And there's also this like liberal side, but it's, it's trash. I can't tell you why, but you know, just trust me, it, it's really not good. That's basically what your argument is, Strang. He has a degree. Right. He has a degree. Well, it, was, it was a good God argument you just made. I was actually really <laughs> good. fucking good. I actually applaud you. You already learned something from me. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the scary thing is that I, I actually think you might believe that. And the scary thing is I actually think you might not believe it. Yeah, it trains OP. <laughs> you think a good argument? <laughs> you think a good argument is someone telling you? That's a fantastic argument. That you really don't like something. No, I think a good argument is saying content of philosophy overall is pretty fucking <laughs> stupid. So yeah, so but and then not being able to give an argument for that. So you're just stating the conclusion and can't back it up in any single way, but I the argument back it is still good. Okay, then I'm just asking you to back it up. That's it. I just did. That's reasonable. That seems reasonable to me. That seems pretty on point. I respect that. I should have put Train on the tier list, actually. I should have put Train. I would put him in S tier, actually. <laughs> I love this motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is maybe, great. Like, listen better and you'll understand it <laughs> yeah maybe i just i didn't hear him say the conclusion five times in a row maybe there's something else you're just not listening in this guy's triggered bro <laughs> maybe maybe but i don't think so do you think uh, that's a good argument well, rem i don't think so maybe that's true <laughs> that's all those are all sidesteps and deflections but that's okay that's what you learn in continental uh, philosophy <laughs> This explain this. This explains. Yo, all it the, trains uh, OP. The train hate threads. I suddenly get them all of a sudden. I mean, I'm I gonna start actually, a train love thread after this, bro. Because I can actually sit here and argue for all of my positions. No, I actually I want to hear what Train has to say about like the actual reason why he thinks it's bullshit. I, yeah, I I'd love to hear Train explain to me why scientific. He already explained it. Dumb. I just I'd love to hear it. You already told it. 
No, he didn't. Told you. Yeah, he, he did. He <laughs> explained it in depth. Logical proof completed. He didn't actually say why it's dumb. Because I know I'm making it way more blatant. They're messing with this dude and he's getting mad. And, and I'm making it very blatant here. But like... In a class of 80 in philosophy... Has this never happened to you before in that kind of situation? What kind of school do you go to, bro? What kind of brain dead people are in that class? They're not going to mess with you like this. Because he can't. Because I doubt he ever, even ever like read the primary sources on it. My guy has 50 diamonds in a chest. And he's just like landscaping with like a, like, what was it? A stone shovel or something? Can you tell us why it's not? I can tell. Yeah, sure. I can. I can give okay, you a bunch of arguments. I'll prove it. I'll, I'll, pr I'll prove it to you right now. Right here, dude. I got it, dude. I didn't want to pull out okay. the big guns, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. Let's give us the meme. Come on, go ahead. So, let me Where's ask you joke? this. So, so let me ask you this. Okay. We can agree that my reasoning behind continental philosophy, mostly being stupid, is unabsorbable. Correct. No, that's just no. Because if you're gonna actually point it's, to real, it's not true. Is it not? Answer the question. Have, I, have you heard no, anything? I, 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 I did you not hear no. me say no? Destiny, I haven't. You're okay to okay. I guess. So I said no. It's not unobservable because your reasoning behind it can be by pointing to actual positions Destiny, within the field. I can't no, I'm asking you. Like have I produced anything trainer, that you've been able to observe? Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, he's still going at it. because you haven't This is great. Yo, train's actually really good. Okay, so let's tie this back to your and your. You just haven't observed it then. Scientific anti-realism. Use that exact thing to understand why I can say continental philosophy is completely fucking stupid, and you have to just accept that. <laughs> Explain it. Explain why I could say that. That's good. Are, Think are you just saying one. everything is feels right now, train? Like, Listen, what is this? Listen, dude, it's already getting over. You know, if, if you actually if you actually <laughs> any philosopher out there, you just realized you you just got shut down. It's done. It's actually finished. Trey, this is actually why we have to write more than a <laughs> sentence. Because sometimes a sentence doesn't make any Listen, fucking you're sense. Listen, four or five years, okay, and you'll understand what just happened. Wait, can you explain to everybody else what just happened? <laughs> yeah, can you explain to all, enlighten to all of us? Because this is some like, how old are you, Rem? Tier. How old is Rem? You can tell, can't you? Train is train yeah, could probably tell. just hone in right on his age. Yeah, <laughs> he like knows all about me. Oh, he knows my entire life. If he's, uh, close, I mean, to if he, if he's close to graduating, he's, 21. No, he's not 19 or 20. Nin oh, 21. I am 19. You're sort of like Bad Bunny, actually, Train, in that you, the only way you Whoa. can attack oh. is by attacking. When Rem can't defend himself, he starts making fun of people. Dude, Dude, these, I don't know, act <laughs> Shut the, the fuck up, Dan. At, 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 this point, at, this, at this point, dude, <laughs> What's that called for at people that point, are at this point you're so bad insecure faith in actor? position that the a bad only faith way actor? you justify oh, to yourself no. is, that what is, by bad faith attacking, actor? is by attacking my age, my p potential institution, how many years I've been in college. That's Look all you've got. Look at him, Gallop train. Look at him, Gish Gallop. Well, he's straw manning all over the place. You're actually a true philosopher that understood the uh, uh, the the positivity and and weight of both sides coming together. You wouldn't attack my attacks with attacks. <laughs> so obviously. <laughs> Sounds to me that you haven't learned much yourself. Oh, you're just fucking memeing. You're just memeing. I'm not Dude, memeing. It's just this a is prank, a, this bro. Is philosophy. What I'm doing about right now is damn philosophy. time. What I'm doing right now is content of philosophy, and I'm proving you wrong. <laughs> oh, very. That wow, that's a really good argument, Train. Using my continental philosophy. That's smart. Philosophy. I never play around with smooth stone. I got to do that. Typical skills on you right now. Right now. This is what I'm doing. That's why it's bullshit. It's all bullshit. Do I'm you proving do you right. Yeah, I'm you know right. I, okay, um, wait, hold on. Just so people in chat, wait, does anyone here actually even know the difference between continental and analytic philosophy? No, Ram was supposed to tell us, but then he started <laughs> ranting. That's another. Show. Okay, wait. <laughs> I don't actually. Don't know. No, no, hold on. No, uh, no one would let me define it. Train just kept wanking on about how he doesn't like. Okay, wait. Can you? Philosophy. Can you? That's a bad idea, bro. Th these are expensive blocks. Make them into slabs. You get double the blocks. Explain it, or do you want me to explain it, or if you're making a floor out of it, you have to do it out of slabs. Just... No, my, my, actually, my whole point is that this division that Train is drawing doesn't exist. It's a bullshit division. There's no distinction between all philosophies. But didn't he say in the beginning that there's a distinction between the two, and that Train is finally acknowledging it? 
its philosophy. But Trin likes to dismiss this area of philosophy because he obviously wait, 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 just wait, doesn't wait, 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 wait. actually read it. I, didn't I thought that it. analytic philosophers and continental philosophers were usually like, isn't one more general and one is more like specific in terms of like their scope no, for what they no, do? No, no, no. So, for example, people think that continental philosophy um, is dealing with uh, a lot of people will start with metaphysics. So they'll start with something like a metaphysical being and the very nature of something existing. And then they'll go from there in their sort of uh, arguments. Well, a lot of analytic philosophers want to start with language, for example. And they'll say that, well, to even begin doing philosophy, we have to look at the way in which our language is structured. And so there's these two sort of distinct ways about starting with philosophy. And so it is a, there is a difference. It's not just all philosophy. These philosophers from these traditions have imposed this division upon themselves, when in reality, at the very root of it, they're investigating, investigating the exact same type of questions. You know, what is truth? What is the true nature of the world? You know, what is the role of like math? So is there no difference between science and philosophy? I mean, as, as long as you're both asking the same question, what is the, the true nature of the world? That's what both sides do, right? I guess there's no difference. I guess you shouldn't have different classes then. You should just teach everyone the same thing. That's got to be the most efficient way to do it. And okay, yeah. like they're all doing the same thing. It's just that the way that they talk about it is different. They use different styles of writing. I, That's I the feel only like the division that exists. I feel like Rem's trying to sell me to Christianity right now. Hey, Train, can you name me an analytic philosopher and a continental philosopher? <laughs> why, do you, why do you do these purity tests? I don't... Name 10 philosopher? Yes. Well, because he's, he's making claims. No, no, he's making claims about the field, but I don't actually think he knows anything about the field. You're gonna... It's like that dude. Oh, man, what a great, like, name 10 books. You read, you can read name 10 books. You're going to win like nine times out of 10 just because people don't keep the shit in their heads. Like, come on, man. Well, no, he, he's basically saying... Damn, you're replacing the whole floor with this... Dude, that's so inefficient. That, you know, all continental... You got to think about what you're doing before... And besides, this is terrible architecture. Just a square like this. You're going to invest this many blocks into a building. You got to be a bit more creative than this. Go in knowing what you want beforehand and think about it and conceptualize it. And don't do all this and change up the floor entirely like this. Wait, especially when you're not this good of a builder. You got to be a bit smarter about the way you go about building philosophy is bullshit but he can't actually pick an, a continental philosopher and tell me why they're wrong why don't you he just can't ask him for a, for a concise argument i have I, uh, no no Trink, can, you, can you actually explain to me why you think all continental philosophy is bullshit I, it, that's straw manning if you go back give me an, no no can vault, you give no, me an instance in of that vault, if you go back in the vault give me an instance of it if you go back look you're saying that these certain philosophers do this now tell me damn this guy's getting so mad you gotta let him fucking talk shut the fuck up if you go back in the VOD, you'll see I didn't say all. I said most. That's number one. Okay, he did. One. I think Nietzsche is great, and I think he's, I think he's bridged the gap of the distinction, okay. but he is part of a very small army of now, unfortunately, uh, extinct philosophers. Bro, use your diamond pick. That can bridge that gap. Now it's just a goddamn fucking, it's just, listen, it's too, okay, too so we're, we're No, he can't be one of these players, bro. He can't be one of these people who has two enchanted diamond picks and he doesn't use them and he just keeps on using iron picks or whatever. Tell me, who, who are these? All in between. Yeah, tell me, tell me, who are these oh, okay. philosophers? Good. Give me an example. I'm sorry, I can't. No, I, yeah, I didn't think you could. Uh, because there aren't philosophers that engage in the type of Dude, thinking that you're talking I, I, about. I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in a uh, conversation. That's such a stupid, that's anti-philosophical because you can always make yourself an example of someone who engages in that, but then doesn't engage in the other and be like, well, I'm an example right here. So clearly you're wrong. That's, that's the stupidest. It's the whole, like, uh, it's the grandma argument. If you know what that is. With my girlfriend and she says, uh, when was the last, like, give me an example of uh, what you mean by this. Listen, this was like fucking six months ago. I can't give you an exact, listen, this is 10 years ago. I can't, I told you before this, I can't drop you these specific train, names. Train, train, your if, argument goes like, it's like me saying like. Bertrand Russell, okay? There's an analytic, okay? Like, it, it makes, it makes no fucking sense at all to why, like, as, uh, as Atlas said, these purity tests you're running, here's what happened. You lost the conversation. You got that many diamonds, bro? Make a diamond shovel at this point. You you lost the argument. So now you're using a purity test. You're literally 
what you're doing is you're sidestepping to a purity test, hoping this purity test, if I get one thing wrong, this is this is literally done by so many It's not so a purity people. test. It's no, not. Just, wait, can I explain this why? Is, this is, just, can I explain my point first before you uh, I understand uh, what you're saying. You said it. Scalper. This is what people do. This is, I, so many people do this in politics. If they lose the general argument, they'll stick to one specific thing, a purity test of sorts. And if you mess that up, they discredit your entire argument that they just lost by saying, oh, you don't know the name of this philosopher to give me an example. Listen, it is irrelevant to our conversation. I'm talking about the general practice of continental philosophy versus the general practice of analytic philosophy. That's what I talked about. And you lost that. It's over. Okay, now let me give you actually what your argument. So it's basically making the claim like, for example, all members of this race engage in X. And then I'm asking you. What? That's not at all. He's not even talking about the members. He's talking about the, the philosophy as a, as a whole. Hey, can you name me a single member of that race that actually engaged with X? And then you're completely unable to give me anyone who engaged in X. We you're trying to we're make not talking about people. people. Hold on, hold on, we're not talking about people engaging in X. Finish. Train, train, will you let me finish? I apologize. Uh, you're yes. making a claim about a group of philosophers who are doing something, okay? I ask you, hey, can you actually name me a single philosopher who does what you describe? And no, you fucking can't. So your argument doesn't make any sense. You're making a claim about an area of philosophy that simply doesn't exist. I'm talking about an area of philosophy that does exist, and you are fighting okay, for the area of where, philosophy. Where is it? It's not a Give who, me it's evidence. a general practice of it. Well, it doesn't exist if you can't name anyone who's doing it. Do you see what you're doing? How does me- What? It doesn't exist if you can't name anyone who's doing it. If you- if you don't remember anyone who's doing it, then it doesn't exist. Sorry, sorry to tell you. All those, like, uh, things you think that people are doing in the world. Oh, someone is, is responsible for this thing. Someone, you know, someone did these- these- I was talking about talk, someone telling me, oh, someone was doing these drone strikes. I'm like, do you know the name of the person who did the drone strikes? Then they didn't happen, if you don't know. Naming. No, no I really ends. don't. I, I, I see you not being able to give your argument because you haven't I actually see you, read on the subject. I see you running a purity test on me naming three philosophers that, that practice the goddamn art. No, I'm asking I'm for one. Listen, I don't need to tell you who practices it to tell you the art of it is stupid. Do I need to name, if I say football is dumb, do I need to say, oh, well, Terry Holt, <laughs> who plays for the fucking Rams, plays in this way, and it's a fucking meathead sport, so football is dumb? No, Guys, I say football, all the leftists the want to kill white people. I can't tell you who, but I swear I'm to God, there's tons of leftists wanting to kill people. I'm not saying the people who are the ones that are wrong. I'm saying the art of continental philosophy is fucking just, it, there's no basis. Do you understand? It's an abstract, it, it's, an, it's a yeah, baseless, but what is abstract, abstract if no one's... it's not bound to reality. Do you understand? Yeah, it's but who's abstract, doing it? You're talking about something not, that's not even not existing then. It's not any sort of realism. Do you understand? It's not so you're complaining about something that doesn't exist. You're complaining about an area of philosophy that no one engages in. Is that what you're... What? That's so... That's the stupidest straw man I've heard. Something not being bound to reality and, and not being realistic is not the same thing as something not existing. A purple elephant walking in this room right now doesn't really make any sense and it's not bound to reality and it would be extremely speculative and stupid to say that it's about to happen right now but it the thought can exist and people can think about it telling me i'm not i never i never made this about people who i never made it about the people who engage or don't or, or uh, choose to engage or choose not to engage i'm talking about the field it's you know um multiverse theory is legit in one of those situations, a purple elephant did just walk through the door in one of the universes. Self is ba is baseless. It's okay, but in order for there to be a field, there has to be people in that field. field. Oh, Jesus Christ. So who's in the field? No, no, you're making a claim about a, like, about a very matter. specific... How do you say you're not doing a purity test and then you go even deeper into it? Like, there has to be people in the field, bro. Name 10 philosophers. The area of... Field. I'm saying the field is stupid. No. Why are you? Oh saying my God, no Train, are you this stupid? The field is dumb. Train, no, that is the Train. stupidest. Yeah, but <laughs> Train, you're oh. complaining about a field, but can't actually tell, prove that the field exists. You're just saying that it exists, but can't prove it. It exists. I think. Uh, I mean, if he's not satisfied with that proof, I'm satisfied with the proof. It, you prove it exists. You are spewing dog shit. <laughs> you are the proof. <laughs> That's that is what I didn't realize I'm a professional shit. philosopher. Train, you just, you just presented yourself as one, and now you're back. Yeah, you could tell he's a pretend. You could tell he's like a. 
he values the word professional for that phrase. You could tell he has, he has very high esteem for that phrase and that he would love to be called a professional philosopher because that was the intent, that was the implication there. And he's implying that it has high value. So yeah, I have no respect for professional philosophers. I think he's just asking you oh my God. If someone calls me professional philosopher, I'd be insulted. Oh, dude. Yeah, you I'm asking the, for an example. You are the epitome of continental well, Okay, so here's the, so idiots. actually, actually, we, there actually is an interlocutor problem here. Okay, so what Train is saying is Train is basically saying that X theory is dumb as fuck, and uh, we got to explain it in an analytical way. I mean, I I get it, I get it totally. Like, uh, people might be like, "Oh, bro, where?" I'll be like, "Oh, you know, testosterone rates have been dropping," and they'd be like. What is your source? And I'd be like, bro, look at you. You are the source. Rem is saying, who is the founder or professor of X theory? And Train is saying, I don't need to know who the founder or professor of said theory is to say that said theory is dumb. So your mismatch here is that, Rem, you're looking for people that are professing this. Train isn't necessarily saying somebody's professing this. He's just saying that this idea itself is stupid. Now, I think That's if exactly you're right. How did this start? This started by train attacking a whole area of philosophy attacking. of actual people Jesus. engaging. Sure, but philosophy. like if you wanted to have like a conversation here to dunk on train, then the dunk would be like, if you wanted to dumpster on train and you want to win the debate, what you have to ask him is you have to say, hey, what is a specific claim made by a continental philosopher that's reasonable. that you disagree with and why? That would be like... I've already said, I've already asked him that and multiple what was his, times, then, yeah, but he then refuses just to answer. But then if he refuses okay, to then answer, then you, then you win. Then it's okay. okay. I'll, I'll, literally I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a basic one. Okay, I'll, t I'll tell you a basic one, okay? okay. Basic one, okay? There we go. Outside of this, listen, if there's any... I'll just... Okay, listen. A basic one would be something like uh, continental philosophers, they reject the view that the natural sciences are the most accurate way of understanding uh oh I, yeah i believe world. that i absolutely don't believe like i don't believe okay, that science well, tells us go, the true dude. nature but hold on train hold on train there analytic philo like do you do realize that a huge portion of analytic philosophers fully support that view and that that view stems from like some core logical positivists who are literally the arch analytic philosophers right like that comes from, that comes from people like carnap and schlick and the logical do you, do you positivist movement. right now do you see what you're doing? No, I, I'm a, I'm a, do you want, no, like, you have an no, argument not. about scientific all, realism? Listen, listen, this is what you learn. You're calling this argument, philosophy. you're calling you, no, you this position dumb, but... Interesting, Nietzsche is an analytic. You Bullshit. can't argue dude, why. Dude, it, dude, someone, someone go in the vault. I want you to dissect what he's saying. It's bullshit. It's dodging. It's deflecting. It's bullshit. It's I'm gonna all bullshit. bullshit. No, it's not. You're bullshit. calling a position dumb. I want you to explain why it's dumb. Listen, Train, this is why can you tell me why that position... He, he explained a position that was dumb, and this guy said, yeah, I believe it too. I believe this dumb position that you're describing as dumb. And then he's saying, prove that it's dumb, instead of this guy going, let me prove why it's actually a, a smart idea. As if the burden of proof is on... Oh, wait, no, he looked up continental philosophy, did he? You can't argue... You what you do right now? Wait, he looked up analytical philosophy, and I looked up continental, and it's the same thing. Do you see what you're doing? No, I, I'm, a, I'm a... Look. Everyone's the same. Plato, Kant, Nietzsche, Buddha, Confucius, whoever the hell that is. Oh, Ibn someone. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, part, part of a series on philosophy. Okay, so it's just, I guess that's just from philosophy. Continental philosophy is used right for, I do not fall under the umbrella of analytic philosophy. So it's just a catch-all for all other kinds of philosophy that are not analytic philosophy. However, there's no academic consensus on the definition of continental philosophy. Okay, that's reasonable. I don't think there can be. Just like how um, the whole idea behind like, Oh, some people think that that uh, scientific truth is not the is not the most um, accurate version of of truth that is used to describe the natural world or whatever, right? And that belief stemming from some you know deep logical you know whatever the hell he's talking about that relies on so many things being set in stone. People can't even define, people can't even come to a consensus on continental philosophy 
what the hell makes you think that they're, they're going to be able to come to a consensus? <laughs> People in this field are going to be able to come to a consensus on on what the most what kind of truth is the most accurate kind of truth. Do you want? No, like, you're we not. Can have an no, argument not. about scientific all, realism. Listen, listen, this is what you learn. You're calling this argument. What? I thought they were talking about content philosophy. I'm, they're probably skipping stuff. You're, you're calling you this position dumb, but you can't argue you're why. Whole, dude, it, dude, someone, someone go in the vault. I want you to dissect what he's saying. It's bullshit. It's dodging. It's deflecting. It's bullshit. It's all bullshit. No, it's not. You're philosophy. calling a position dumb. I want you to explain why it's dumb. Hey, you. This is why, you you why, this is why philosophers become lawyers. A lot of philosophers become lawyers because it's they're good. Look bullshit. at these ad they don't have bullshit. Oh, so They're pathetic. not ad homs. This is a lot of philosophers. No, you can't actually. Look, this, this is train. Hey guys, this position's dumb. Don't ask me why. I just promise me it's dumb. You know it's. What do you mean? Don't ask me why, bro. He's explaining it. He already explained why. It's totally dumb. Don't make me explain why. I swear to God, it's dumb. But Trey can't actually I engage in the argument. Answer, and you've rejected my answer, no. and that rejection yeah, itself but... proves the distinction between analytic and continental. You reject Are you both, or is that like impossible? <sighs> of course, you what? can do both. I did both. Everyone knows both. Like if you take oh, okay. if you take analytic, you'll take courses that are in the oh, field God. of continental. Yeah. Wait no, a second. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Can I ask a question? Works. Wait, of Rem. Hold on. I was under the impression that um, that that analytic philosophers generally were like. Um, would we would we draw a distinction between scientific realism versus anti-realism, like in terms of like whether or not they believe that the natural sciences can provide a good account of the world? I thought analytic scientists generally did believe that. Is that not true? I mean, yeah. I I wouldn't even describe science as. Because even the scientific method is not something that's set in stone. It's not something that has a clear definition or that's completely agreed upon. There's many things. There's many methods that people consider to be the scientific method of of pursuing truth, basically. So it's not necessarily that like that. Fuck! I was saying something. Damn it! I lost it. It's been a while. The, well, no, the since I've like actually dove deep in any of this kind of stuff. But majority of philosophers, period, continental or analytic, Wait, they what? believe that the natural sciences can provide a good account of the world. I thought analytic scientists generally did believe that. Is that not true? I mean, yeah, I. The yeah, it's a. It isn't even necessarily that like, people thought of these methods and they're going, okay, we're going to use these methods and these are the best methods to determine the best, uh, the the, the most analytical true version of the world, right? The most analytical, true uh, uh, nature of reality. It's more like people have their own intuition on what the, the truest form um, or truest results of could be that could describe the nature of reality. And then whatever methods end up leading to those results, they call that science. Well, no, the majority of philosophers, period, continental or analytic, believe that. Like, sure, they but if we were talking general, about if we're talking realists. about a specific divide between a continental versus an analytic philosopher, an analytic no, philosopher I mean, would be the, the more science, likely to say that, like, look, look so that, I don't know why Train is bringing up scientific realism, anti-realism. It has nothing to do with the analytic continental debate. It's well, just because, it's not a good argument to bring up with because most continental philosophers are not engaged with philosophy of science. Sure, but that's, that's not sure, what they're sure, sure, but that's not exactly. But the question was like, what is one claim that like a continental philosopher might make, and then we. Went over well, no, claim. so I could even attack him right there because a continental philosopher wouldn't be making that claim in the first place because that's not the type of question that they're engaged with. So you're telling and me that continental know. and analytic philosophers generally have the same view on whether or not the natural sciences oh. are, like provide a, a positive yeah, account yes. of the world? I, I would say, yeah, that most do agree no, that. Um, no, not generally. Th no. Can, you name me, can you name me a continental who's a scientific anti-realist train? No. No, you <laughs> no. can't, so shut the I fuck up. Name, I can't, oh, I can't name you name other. Ten. I just you told you I can't name you any. I can't name you any, but generally this then is stop what it making is. claims so about the positions do? that people hold in philosophy. Stop trying to say that these people hold this and these people hold that. If you can't actually name anyone okay, who holds it, okay, any fine. positions that, at that, all. That, 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 then you do the same. So you're saying generally. You're saying generally. No, but I actually know. I know. Okay, so okay, I okay hold on. So real positions. quick, I'm so literally I'm, I'm just ripping I'm just ripping this from the wiki, so I could be wrong. So, but so, this says continental philosophers. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Wait, real quick. This is a portrait. Continental philosophers generally reject the view that the natural sciences are the only or most accurate way of understanding natural phenomena. This contrasts with any analytic philosophers who consider their inquiries as continuous with or subordinate to those of the natural sciences. Continental Wow, uh, continental philosophers are stupid. Listen, bro, I'm not even a big fan of science. Not like I used to be. Um, I go on and on about like how 
scientist after scientist is just like stupid and pathetic and they don't think very deep. They only they think very, very surface level. Um, but yeah, even I could admit there's an accurate way of looking at the world. Is it the best way for me personally? No, I don't think so. I think my own personal life experiences have taught me there's better ways of looking at the world for me. But is it the most accurate? Yeah, I think that's how you define science in the first place. Philosophers often argue that science depends upon a pre-theoretical substrate of experience, a version of conscient conditions of possible experience or fe the phenomenological life world, and that science methods are Thank inadequate you. to fully understand such condition conditions of intelligibility. Thank so wouldn't this okay. mean that... Hard problem of consciousness, huh? Is that really what this whole thing's based on? That's that's the that's the same thing as like God of the gaps. Like, bro, give it one day. If this is your stance, give it give it some time. Your entire field is gonna be crushed by its own weight, you know? Like somebody like Kant would, would make Thank this you. argument that the natural sciences Which aren't a sufficient way of describing this SCP. What? I, it's literally it's Wikipedia. SCP. It's not I'm not even on the No, okay, then I don't give a fuck, Destiny. Like no. <laughs> uh, that's Wikipedia written, is not written by a the capitalist. Source. Written by Capitol. No, well, no, it's God not. No, no. God could come any? down to him right now, dude, and he won't believe. He'll, he'd rather no, fucking no, find somehow out on the theorize SCP that Destiny God is actually the it. fucking devil. Bro, he looks exactly how he sounds. And the devil's trick. And Train looks how he sounds too. Him because he's found some God, truth. Destiny, and, come and on, the, like this is this is me, dude, okay? like real low hanging fruit here. Like you're really going to Wikipedia for one of the most complex things. Okay, so then here's so then so then wait wait. Well, firstly, your argument is that this there is no distinction. Wikipedia is is. It's not necessarily self-evident that everything Wikipedia has to say is wrong. And also, what source would you provide as an alternative that would be better than Wikipedia? Because they're written by one party, two parties, whatever. At this point, something as deeply debated as philosophy is going to be checked on Wikipedia and, and written over by like very, very well-accredited people like thousands and thousands of people over and over and over again if anything it's a it's a it may not be the most like because we're talking about philosophy it may not be the most accurate or true thing but it's definitely agreed upon by a substantial amount of people at least that you can guarantee from wikipedia for you know words as vague as philosophy right now you just said it's a very complicated distinction <laughs> <laughs> well no 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 hold on no, no, hold Welcome on. Welcome to I continental philosophy. <laughs> no, no. This is what I'm saying is that there are philosophers who believe, they believe that they're doing something. Oh, the stars, the stars. Entirely I love different. this. They believe that they're engaging in a different type of subject matter, oh, but at the root Jesus. of it, they're doing the same thing. That's He's what I'm saying. At you, okay, laughing. I can't hear you guys trying to scream in the background. Okay. It's like imagine like there's people wearing red hats and there's people wearing blue hats and mm -hmm. they believe that they're actually not wearing the same type of thing, but actually they're both wearing hats. It's it's the same type of thing. Right? Does doesn't that make sense, Destiny? <coughs> Wait, no, I don't understand. It's what a you... self imp That was the worst like uh analogy I've heard in my life. Pose distinction. That both well if they both believe... sides are imposing the distinction then Yes. Doesn't that mean no, but, there is but, a distinction but, or and if both sides are imposing a distinction and he's saying that there's not one, doesn't that mean all the people on both sides are pretty stupid? Doesn't that kind of ruin his case that like, oh, these continental philosophers are not stupid. They're not like, it's not just BS, it's not just nothing. It clearly is if they themselves are contradicting their own field. No, not necessarily. If two <laughs> groups of people believe that they are of a different type of species, it doesn't actually mean that they're different species. I guess he's smarter than every continental philosopher and every analytic philosopher, and he can judge all of them better than they can judge themselves. Sounds like a very analytic thing to say. So you're saying there's some <laughs> underlying matter that we could analyze to determine? Oh, yes, don't. <laughs> I'm so don't sorry. This is what you get for coming exactly on and harassing me, okay? Dude, so you got people like McDowell. Well. Impen, uh, well. Alan Wood. I, don't, I think, Brave for example, Brave. our local analytic philosopher here, Mr. Train, definitely wouldn't consider Brandom an analytic philosopher, Marty. Please watch your mouth. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, like, the university that he's in basically only accepts... Quote, quote, I, I agree. I agree, Marty. But, look, Train here 
train here knows what continental philosophy is. He knows. So okay, we, mostly everyone that's in this chat that has seen Destiny in many arguments, and as soon as people uh, have any sort of tone close to yours right now, they realize how wrong that person is and how mad they are. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Wow, good talk, guys. Are yeah, we done here? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Yeah, but there's also philosophers who make the argument. Damn, he's like, still he's so mad, bro. All black people aren't people, so oh. it doesn't give us credence. Wow. Marty, yeah. listen, Marty comes in here and gives like fucking ten examples supporting you. You say you 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 praise him as the fucking moderator now, and then he gives one. You jump to some extreme fucking uh, uh, example of no, oh, well, there's AJ also AJ people idea. that say black. Like what the fuck? This is exactly the example of content philosophy. Just. Delusion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Literally, Marty, it's, it's insane to me, dude. Are Marty, you kidding Marty, me? do you, th Marty, do you think I'm a continental philosopher? No. I mean, <laughs> you're, you. you're, you're, you're arguing like one right now. I'll tell you that. Marty, do you think I'm arguing like a continental philosopher? I don't know what it means to argue like a. <laughs> I don't either. I really don't either. Marty, go ahead <laughs> and uh, like... you know, someone send Marty this vod, and uh, we'll teach Marty a new thing here. How? Uh, what it sounds like to argue, like a continental philosopher. We'll title it that. Send this to Marty, okay? I'll cover the shipping costs, and uh, this will be your uh, video, Marty. All right. You know, Marty actually. Arguing, but does arguing like a continental philosopher is that just analytic? Uh, is that just an analytic statement to mean bad, bad philosophy? No, it's actually an yeah, ad that... hominem statement, or ad hominis. <laughs> okay. Marty, Train has a degree in analytic philosophy. <laughs> Alright, are we good in here? Can we Fuck. can we put this one to rest points? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you suffered, Ren. Uh, I hope uh, it felt bad. Like, I don't think I've ever suffered this much in really? your voice chat before. Dude. Actually, no, technically, like, this is the worst. Yeah, actually, that was a good distinction. In the voice chat, I was going to say, if, you, if you're taking any sort of continental philosophy, you have suffered this much. <laughs> That's one thing I will add to that. <laughs> it means. Best, can you give me a TLDR of this? Continental philosophers is... are real dumb. My nigga's the. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, just brother! Statement, right? So just continental. I second that. Being bad at philosophy. Yep, so. that's what he's saying. But Train actually can't name a single continental philosopher, Marty. Wait, I can't it's... name a single continental philosopher. You literally, yeah. You name like three already for me. It, it means nothing to the argument. Like, yeah, it does because you're making a claim about the field, but then you can't. No, it's a purity test. It's argument. a purity test, and it's completely it is irrelevant to the argument. No, you're making a claim about the state of an, of philosophy right now. You're making a claim about what certain people are doing, but you're not able to actually show that these people exist in the way that you describe. Sure, but That's you're not asking that question. The people existing is irrelevant. I'm talking about the field itself, the art of it. You, you understand? So again, so so ultimately it just doesn't exist. Is that what you're saying? Because no one actually does what you're describing. They do. Oh my God, dude. Well, this who? Is, if you're saying they do, the, then tell me who. Dude, this you are practicing content of philosophy right now as we speak. And you Bro, football players exist. I can't name any, though. I don't watch football, but I'm pretty sure they exist. But, you know, I guess they don't if I can't name any. You don't know it. <laughs> mean you're bullshitting you're bullshitting mean? out of you're bullshitting out of a goddamn so again, argument that so you just continental got to you did, yeah it's like what marty said sure so that that's a great i'm gonna use that as an insult so continental of you to do something like that continental just means being bad no it means bullshitting okay so okay so our holocaust guy is doing, oh, <laughs> doing no, continental philosophy. what are Holocaust denies doing thing? continental philosophy? Are Holocaust, Rem, wait, what? Know, Say that again? You said that continental philosophy is bullshitting. Rem, do you know the distinction uh, between bullshit and lying? One sec, my phone's gonna die. Let's be honest, dude. If we want to get down to the real memes, I mean, f philosophy and bullshit are just fucking synonymous. Exactly, kind of exactly, exactly. The memes, okay? If you want to go, if, if we're this far into it, dude, let's just start with that. Rem, take it away. Say nothing if you agree, Bram. True. I'm tracking True. my phone. What do you have like any other shows in the work or are you just chilling with your Scuff podcast now? Uh Scuff Podcast. I mean I am I'm, I'm working on some stuff, but I, I am uh 
I'm sleeping a lot, dude. I'm sleeping a lot and I'm dreaming and, you know. Nothing I'm just wrong sleeping. with dreaming. Oh, of course there's nothing wrong. Rem here's made a goddamn uh, career out of it. <laughs> he literally asked you to repeat what you said wow. so that he could get his dick out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. No, like, I want to argue, but I don't want to get to this far where it's like, you it's know, not... the dude gets dumpstered. Like, I just feel bad. Wait, I just can't. <laughs> I don't think. Okay, just Wait stop. <laughs> just stop, okay. Yeah. It's a it's funny because like destiny the next time you know we're in a call together you know you know you're not doing it now but oh, yeah, you're going to be laughing about how fucking stupid train's take was but you know because of i'll tell him right now i think his trade is his take is dumb as fuck but i mean i think he knows okay. <laughs> i don't know if he knows it or not it's just funny because you get really mad about no, it. no he sorry. definitely <laughs> doesn't know it i thought he was trolling at first too but he seriously believes what he's saying i like i'm pretty sure that like deep down i this don't guy's think guy's so mad bro he's so mad he really cares that much about this stuff and i, I don't think care, he's yeah. arguing just to argue well no no he does care but then he's pretending that he doesn't care i mean j uh, dude once again right now you're exercising content of flaw for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay stop i can't tell anymore no i'm being serious he's reading my mind and telling me it's the truth that's literally what they do they literally say oh well i can't prove this but i know i i dream it i envision it this is what he's doing okay you i don't think continental philosophy is like divination i don't think it's like interpreting dreams <laughs> listen dude listen dude L let me tell you this okay what you read uh, 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 Destiny, so like, well, we can meme, okay? At the end of the day, we can meme. You can say I take stupid safe face with Rem. Rem's upset. You can tell on his tone, right? I just exercise it right there, too. See, um, Destiny, I'm serious. Okay, no, no. So, like, continental and analytic philosophers in the past, right, even if there was a much greater division, have both, like, contributed, like, really valuable things to, like, the oh, overall of field of philosophy. Oh, of course. No, of course, and that's why I said most. Sure, like, but I, and I don't think, I don't think you can just broadly write off, like, all continental philosophy is bad. Especially when, like, yes. well, no, 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 but, like, even, even to attack it, most. even to attack it broadly, like I'm pretty sure that continental and analytic philosophy are both such broad terms that it doesn't even really make sense to group all of them together. In the same way that like yes. postmodernist doesn't, it's, you're not really attacking like a, a particular thought when you say that. You're not really saying anything. No, in substance, right? postmodernism is the ultimate form of well, continental you, philosophy. Sure, but yeah, just, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying that like you I, I don't. Reading everything you read was exactly like it was exactly on the point of what I was saying. And well, now Rem brought up something about something about something, and now you're like, oh, yeah, I think it's stupid. But everything you read, like, ignore what I said. Just look at what you read. It's exactly what I said. Literally. Yes, look at that on, look at that unmoderate, like, like, not scholarly. No, no, no. Wikipedia does have some pretty strong moderation now. It's actually gotten way, way, way better. No, so, like, all Wikipedia <laughs> article. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Notice how he was the only one laughing right there. 